Now that it's time to go back to school, that also means it's time for fall sports. And whether you play soccer, basketball, lacrosse, field hockey, or something else, female sports injuries are very common. Here to talk about today some of the most common female sports injuries is Dr. Paul Fideli. Good morning, Paul. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Why, why is it so common all of a sudden that, that girls are sustaining some of these injuries? Well, some people think we go back to Title IX where we gave young women a chance to compete in sports equal to men. What we could not have predicted is some people are quoting studies of five times the rate of injuries that young girls have versus young boys. And these are serious injuries, torn ligaments, broken bones, etc. So to some degree, we think we have an epidemic. So, so these are pretty severe. I mean, I know ACL injuries, stuff like that. What are, what are some of the other ones that you're seeing uh, more and more of? Correct. So we're worried about meniscal tears, ligament injuries, shoulder dislocations, broken ankles, um, hip pathology now with sore hips and torn labrums in the hip. So this is fairly serious because of the level that these young ladies are playing. Is there uh, a chance at full recovery? Because I know sometimes it's even more dangerous when your body's still growing. Well, that's the concern. If you go back to the real young kids, they have a chance of hurting their growth plates and affecting uh, their growth in the future. We can get probably on the average 90% of the kids back to playing full sports. What do, you th what do you think the reason is behind this? I know, I, I, as a you know, I played a lot of sports growing up. We uh, we were kind of trained properly, double sessions, you know, tons of practicing and whatnot. Are they practicing less so their body's not as in shape? Or, I mean, I know Division One athletics now for men and women is just is very intense. So what's the, what's the reason? Why is this? Well, in general, we're up to a couple of million injuries a year across wow. the board. But if you look at women, we have spent considerable time and effort trying to figure out why. And the theory today, which could change at any time, is that young ladies grow and mature differently than young men. They land differently. They jump differently. They absorb energy differently. And we're trying to get them to do it the way they should to prevent injury. It's been equivocal whether these injury programs really work or not. So, it, so it is, it's, we haven't really found out the main reason why girls are getting hurt more than guys? No, we started with the time. Title IX, this explosion of young ladies being hurt, all this research went into it, and in fact, we still can't prove why young women are much higher, and much, much higher risk than young boys. Wow, now there's a lot, a lot of sports starting up there for the fall. Girls, I'm sure, at home are, are getting ready for that. What's some of the things they can do to prevent? Is it stretching? Is it, what is it? There's got to be something out there that they can at least attempt to get their body uh, in, in prime shape for the season. There's no doubt. Again, a lot of these young girls will be playing on four or five different teams. They're playing every single night and every single weekend. They're not in the shape they should be. So some of them are still maturing and growing. So to get strong, get stretched out, and possibly limit the volume of play you do, which yeah. goes against everything we believe, because yeah. the parents and the coaches go, go, want go go, 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 go. And we think that's fatiguing these young girls down. Well, got to take uh, precautions. Thanks so much for being here, Doc. For Thank more information that's very important on treating and preventing sports injuries, just head over to the website foxprovidence.com.